Hi everybody, this is Atik. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Engineering Drive. When we want to handle exception in Java program, generally we will make use of one try block and one catch block. The problem with one catch block is it can handle only one type of exception. But sometimes a try block can generate more than one exception. In those circumstances, a try block needs to have a multiple catch blocks. So how a try block can have multiple catch blocks? How a try block, try block can generate multiple exceptions? Each and everything I am going to discuss with this example program. So dear students, you can see here I have written one simple Java program and the name of the class I have taken is try2 as it is our second example program. Already the first example program I have discussed based on try and catch block. You can go ahead and watch in my previous video. So this is try to second program and here I have taken three variables a, b and c. Now this is the code in which I am expecting that a runtime error can occur or more than one runtime error can occur. So I have kept it inside in try block you can see here. Okay. Now a is equal to integer dot parts int first argument b is equal to integer dot parts int second argument. So I want to accept these two values from keyboard through arguments. Argument method I am using here. Okay. Finally, those two values I am going to perform division and the result will be stored in C variable. And I am displaying through system.out.println that result value. Is it clear? Now, this code can generate two types of runtime errors or two types of exceptions. That's why what I have written in my program, two catch blocks I have written. Okay, you can make use of 3, 4, 5, but for our simplicity, I have taken two catch blocks. First catch block, it can handle arithmetic exception, exception like division by 0. Second catch block, it can handle the exception. Here, I have taken the class number format exception, which means this catch block can handle the exception related to the format of the input values, which we will provide. Now, I will show you how this program will be executed and what output we will get and how our multiple catch blocks can handle the exception. So dear students, let me write the output first. So let me write the expected output so that you people can understand this program with example. Now here, what I am going to do, I need to give the values of A and B. I need to pass through commands now. This method. So, through command, I need to pass the value of A and B. So, so what is, so here I will be using the keyword Java and what is the name of our program? Try to Java space try to. So, here this is how I am passing the values to this command in the form of command line. Now, first of all, I need to pass the value of A. Next, I need to pass the value of B. So, the value of A, I am passing it as 20 space the value of B, 0. And enter button, you need to press. Once you press enter button, what happened here? So, 20 value will be assigned to A, 0 value will be assigned to B. 20 by 0, 20 by 0 means there is a runtime error division by 0. So, from here control will go to the arithmetic exception. From here it will go to the catch block arithmetic exception. First catch block is inspected and division by 0 belongs to this class arithmetic exception. So, immediately we will get this message division uh, sorry denominator should not be 0. This is the output we will get. Is it clear? This is first type of exception. Now, second type of exception that can occur here is instead of 0, I have written here in letters 2 and I have pressed enter button. So, second value I have given in terms of characters. Actually, you should give an integer because you can see here both A and B, they belongs to integer. I am converting the value to integer and they belongs to this data type in data type only. But what I have done here, I have given in letters, in character second value. So, what happened? A value is 20, B value is 2. 20 by TWO2 means it will generate one exception here. It will also generate one runtime error. Which type of runtime error will be generated? You know, here it will generate number format exception because we need to give the format in integers, but I have given that input in letters. That's why directly it will generate 
the number format exception and control will go to the second catch block because first catch block does not match first catch block belongs to arithmetic exception class so this first catch block will be ignored and second catch block contains the class number format exception so this runtime error will get matched with this catch block and we will get this message which message which, which message enter only numbers will be the out, output okay and third case third case is let us say i have given a normal number 2 then in this situation what happened when i press enter button 20 by 2 which means 10 c value is 10 so we got we didn't got any type of runtime error so automatically what will get output result is equal to we will get the output 10 so there will be no runtime error in the third case so dear students i have told three options to you three possibilities of this program one is without any error we will get the direct output and second possibility is we may get arithmetic exception in case of division by zero and second case is we may get number format exception if you give let characters in instead of numbers or digits like this we can make use of any number of catch blocks so in try block if you are thinking that we make this try block may generate five types of exceptions then we can make use of five different catch blocks to handle those individual exceptions so i believe that you got a clear idea about how we can make use of a try block with multiple catch blocks so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah peace.